So now that we've called it a truce, I thought we'd do a little healthy car shopping. You know, which is always good for the mind, body, and Tamar. So I changed because Vince acted like there was a problem before we left. I have my eye on this shiny new accessory, and she's not playing around today. All right. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you, too. How you doing? Hi. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's going on in here? What you got new? Uh, newest thing we got is just still the Evoke. Thing just came out. I love this car. No, why don't we drive one? See how it rides. OK. <laughs> it's kind of dope. <laughs> What? Some girls like diamonds. I like diamonds and cars. I, I respect that. Vince is an undercover car lover. Did he come and test drive this car already? You know, Vince, he doesn't come to me. Normally, he gets, I get that call at <laughs> 7 o'clock at night. Hey, Jay, can you bring me a Ferrari today? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, every time I bring you a car, I'm not sure where to put the new we one. We have two sitting outside of the garage right now. I know, we, we probably don't need another car, but I just really <laughs> like this car. Let me see, how many cars do I have? I have a Porsche, I have a hood rat, Camaro. Oh, a Ferrari. I need another one because she loves cars, you know? It's like a pair of shoes. Like, you have to change your shoes every day. It's like you change your cars. So you really think you deserve a new car? What are you talking about? Don't you think she deserves no, I don't know who she is. I don't know who that is. He has the audacity to ask me if I deserve a new car. Yeah, she does. Do I deserve your attitude? No, she doesn't.